Hey, people, I'm here to talk about some breaking news that I believe is extremely bullish for XRP in this video. I believe that as XRP holders, we have all seen all of the XRP detractors out there claiming that XRP detractors out there claiming that XRP is a fraud. We've seen all these different narratives being tossed around by Bitcoin maxes and other folks that are just against Ripple and XRP. Ripple is just dumping XRP on retail to make a profit. They'll never truly utilize XRP. Well, folks, in this video, I'm going to expose one of these Bitcoin maxes as a complete sham and show you that these people truly understand the power of XRP. They just come out publicly and attack it because they know it's good for their own purses. In this video, I'm going to show you something very unexpected. That should tell you mm. that even the biggest bears on XRP don't think XRP will fall in the long run. Make an effort to stay for the duration of this event. I believe this will be quite eye opening for you. Oh, he's your support, which means a lot to this channel. If you love these films, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to my channel. It will greatly assist me. Also, if you're looking to buy some XRP, make sure to check out my favorite trade uphold done in the video description, because uphold is giving away 50,000 XRP to someone who just paid 120 key XRP the other day. Don't pass up your chance to win this 50 XRP. Sign up for a poll by clicking on the link in the video's description. Now, with that said, let's get started. And I hope you appreciate the material. So, is video. To begin the I'd like to immediately go into some extremely interesting news that just broke a few moments ago. The SEC is attempting to prove that Nance and co-founder she perpetrated an F-tax style fraud. For a couple of reasons, I thought this was incredibly interesting. But first and foremost, what a farce the SEC is. They completely missed the scam at FTX. The SEC allowed Sam Beckman to literally cheat thousands upon thousands of clients out of billions of dollars. And then there's Binance, where the Doge didn't even claim any fraud or theft of user cash. And here comes the SEC saying, OK, we're going to find out where the fraud was in Binance. So what I tweeted was that the SEC overlooked an F-tax fraud. So they want to manufacture a fraud in finance, even if finance did not conduct any fraud. Odd. So the SEC is being completely ridiculous here. And I think that simply goes to prove that the SEC is clueless about what's going on. They completely overlooked all of the companies who were committing fraud. At the same time, they were looking into a company called Ripple that had not committed any fraud. And now they're pursuing a firm in Binance that hasn't been charged with fraud, as if to say, OK, we're going to discover fraud someplace at this company. Yes, ACK is a complete farce. But the other more essential point I want to make in this regard is that there hasn't been any fraud by Nance thus far. For a very long time, so many people in the cryptocurrency sector said that the next black swan event would undoubtedly be hosted by Nance. Everyone assumed that Binance was the same. Meoseptics. It was a gigantic Ponzi scheme. There were no client assets present. And we're finding out that these people were entirely wrong. The $4 billion deal reached between Binance and the Doge was effectively Nance getting the Doge off their back when the Doge was coming after them with everything they had. The Doge made no allegations of fraud. They made no allegations of theft of consumer assets. As a result, we escaped one of the most significant black swans in the Bitcoin market. Now, it will be fascinating to see if the SEC ever finds anything. Based on what I've seen from the SEC, I doubt they find anything related to fraud or anything related to fraud or anything remotely similar to what FEX is. At the end of the day, if there was anything that bad, the Doge would have found it because they have much better law. 
years and investigators, whereas the SEC appears to be just trying to create more fear, create more fun around the cryptocurrency market and saying, hey, whether you actually did anything wrong or not, we're going to try to get you on something, a total joke by the SEC, but also extremely bullish for the cryptocurrency market going forward. With the demise of Terra Luna and FTX, we experienced a tremendous credibility crisis. And the last thing we needed in the cryptocurrency sector was for the world's largest exchange to commit fraud that does not appear to be the case at Binance. In the beginning, they experienced some little glitches here and there. However, when it comes to something that would generate a major black swan scenario, Bitcoin a massive drop below in the cryptocurrency $10, market would put, that Binance event just did not happen. The next thing everyone will point to is Tether Tether, which will perform the same thing as Terra Luna. And I would argue that FEX is the same thing that everyone thought Nance was. People, I believe, are also making incorrect assumptions about Tether and Terra Luna. People witnessed Terra Luna's fatal spiral. Everyone is suggesting the same thing will happen to Tether, but I doubt it. I believe that similar to Nance Tether, they did a lot of dodgy stuff in the past. But I believe they were able to cover up a lot of that and wound up paying a fine for the awful things they did in the past, but not enough to produce this enormous black swan event. This indicates that, in my perspective, the majority of the black swan cattle so have passed us by. We've passed through the worst of the bear market. And I believe that we will soon see a flood of bullish news and momentum propelling this market from its lows to new all-time highs. Now, I want to go on to something extremely stunning that I observed the other day that will really show you how big of a scam a lot of these Bitcoin maxes are. And that is an investor list in a fresh new XRP at a people. For those of you who are unfamiliar, an EDP is effectively the same as an ETF. This is a solution for folks who don't want to buy XRP on a crypto exchange to do self-custody. It allows people to simply purchase a ticker on their stock exchange and invest in something that trades like XRPP. And according to Chad Steinberger, Anthony Pompliano, a uh, well-known Bitcoin maxi in anti-XRP activist is a shareholder in the XRP at P. This is a full and utter farce. I'm not going to go through the clips on this channel right now because I'm sure most of you have. However, Anthony Pompliano has repeatedly stated that he will never purchase XRP. XRP, SRP is a scam and he will never invest in Ripple, the company, since anything they do makes no sense. It's a total you don't want of a corporation. And as he says this, Anthony Pompliano is investing in XRP through this ETP. What this demonstrates is that the bearish argument, the bearish narrative being promoted by Bitcoin Maxis is a total farce. They make it up because they believe XRAP will be more powerful than Bitcoin in the long term. They understand that XRP is tech is far superior. And they are aware that right poll is meeting with the most powerful entities on the planet. They can't stop doing everything I just said. XRP will always be quicker, more efficient than Bitcoin. And collaborating with powerful organizations will always have a ripple effect. The only thing they can do is rush about and spread misinformation. They will brag about their book and say everything to scare you away from XRP. But what we're witnessing behind the scenes is that they're hedging their bets. They understand what we do. They understand that XRP is perfectly positioned to be a game-changing asset in our financial system. That's why people like Anthony Pompliano can't help but try to obtain XRP in a method that won't get him caught. He was just apprehended. Despite his repeated deception to the public, we 
now know that Anthony Pompliano is a legal stakeholder in XRP. The second hilarious thing here that I think is amazing is that Kathy Woods appears to have invested in this ETP as well. This is quite exciting to me because I believe that many of these different cryptocurrencies, ETFs and EPTs, will eventually end up in our ARK Invest Innovation Fund, the ARK fund that manages billions of dollars. And what this will accomplish is create a new type of demand for XRP. Essentially, when someone buys the ARK fund, they are also buying XRP off the spot market. This is not only going to happen in her fund. People will see that Kathy Wood is massively outperforming the rest of the market with cryptocurrencies in our index fund. And other index funds will add these ETEPs as well. Consider adding something like XRP to an SEMP, 500 portfolio. Now, that's probably a long way down the road and very far away. However, consider the large inflows into spot XRP that would result. And that would completely alter the game in terms of how much demand might be seen on the spot market as a result of these ETFs. A lot of people look at these ETFs as if they are a standalone product. After all, how many individuals are going to invest straight into the ET fee? But I think people forget how intertwined these financial products truly are. And what if this XRP EP actually ended up in 300 or 400 or 400 different EPs? The quantity of inflows that would result would be simply huge. That's why I was ecstatic to learn that Kathy was interested in accumulating this XRP EP. Now, this is just the beginning. In another video, I discussed how I thought as institutions began to disclose these EP. It would trigger a tidal wave of institutions scrambling to say, hey, we want the first real big XRP ETF because this is definitely one of those cases where first mover advantage is important. The first person to develop a huge XRPF will almost certainly dominate the market in the future. That is why it is so exciting to see huge institutional players showing interest in this ETP. The fact that they are showing interest will help other institutions realize, well, we don't want to be the last to know about this thing. We want to make sure that our ETF has a great ticker and that he is trading on the market when this asset class begins to recover. And we see a massive Bitcoin maxi going against everything he has preached for the past 10 years by actually investing in this thing alongside one of the most popular asset managers on the planet right now. I believe it should be sufficient to demonstrate to institutions that there is genuine demand for an XRP at F. And I believe we are far closer than many people realize to seeing these products trading on the NASDAQ, trading on traditional stock markets. And I believe this will result in a demand element that most people have not properly accounted for. So the next time you see Bitcoin Maxi running around saying XRP has no utility in XRP as a scam, remember that the person who has been preaching this since day one is investing in XRP 